Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time we fought the Dirt Dragon, yeah, and then we went to Ebot's Rock and fight Hydon and got the strongest lore in the game. This time we're here at Doma Castle, yes. We've been here before in the world of balance and it was completely abandoned because everyone got killed here by Kefka. It's basically still the same, except we heard that there, for some reason, people think there's demons inhabiting this place or something? Huh. We'll have to check that out. So, to check that out, we actually have to try and take a nap here. Now, is this where we take a nap? I don't remember which which room it is. It'll take me a moment to figure that out. But anyways, to accomplish this feat of coming here and dealing with the demons, you actually have to bring Cyan with you. And if you're smart, you'll put him in the third or fourth slot of your party. If you're smart. Now, where the hell can you sleep? Is this the room? This is the room. Okay. So, if you take a rest, let's watch what happens. Seems normal, right? By the way, this does actually heal you if you wanted to know. But, everyone got up except for Cyan. What the hell? Cyan, are you alright? You got food poisoning or something? Bro. Wake up, bro. Hey. Hey. Uh, uh. <laughs> You gotta love that they play the little quirky music. And who are the f are these children? And why are they here? Why are you here, children? I'm Kenny. I'm Larry. And I'm Bo. Oh God! Fucking demons. We're the Dream Stooges. This man's soul is ours. This man's soul is ours. This man's soul is ours. <laughs> Today we dine well. Today we died well. Today we died well! <laughs> Wait! So, apparently they can just jump into Cyan's face, and away we go. Alright, so the random thing. We are actually inside of Cyan's mind. You wake up as the third character in your party. I had Shadow in my third slot, therefore I am Shadow. First thing you want to know, note, is equip a damn ribbon now, because every enemy here casts status effects. Now let's go. As you can see, the other characters in the game, our party, are strewed about. We'll be able to pick them up along the way. Anyways, we're fighting a handful of new enemies here, and you definitely want a party member who can fight on their own. So make sure that in your third or fourth slot in the party, you have a character that you can, you can count on, basically. Like, it's really tough to do this otherwise. A lot of the enemies here will be undead, ghost kind of type enemies, so fire skeins are your friend. Use them. I was torn between using Shadow and Sabin for this, but Shadow's ability to use fire skeins is freaking priceless right now. Alright, so this was like basically a maze in, in Cyan's mind. And the first thing we want to do is go in the left door. Sorry, I was looking at my notes because I didn't remember which door I wanted to go in. This will get us our first character back, which is going to be Terra. Back off! I'm not going to mess with you unless my brothers are here. See ya! And so the little bitch runs away. Don't worry, we'll deal with them when we get a chance. So let's pick up Terra. So we got Terra back in the party. Awesome. And let's see. Out of the top and the bottom door, I think we want to go in the top door, actually. So let's head over to the top door. This is actually not too bad of a maze. You kind of just go in a big circle if you go the wrong way. Let's see. Out of these choices, we want to go right. Right door. And that's going to get us to Sabin. I mean, Sabin. To Strago. I'M NOT GONNA MESS WITH YOU UNLESS MY BROTHER'S RIGHT HERE! See you. <laughs> I don't know which one's which. They don't really tell you which one it is until after you... After you get to the battle with them. Anyway, a couple more new enemies. We got a Critic and a Barbie. I never knew Barbie was gonna look like that. Funny. I should've bought some more fire skeins before I came here. Yet another reason I needed to stop by Thamasa. Although since last episode I did buy some more ninja stars. I didn't have anywhere near enough money to max out on them, but at least I bought some. In fact, let's see how many I got exactly. I got 44 of them. Let's take out the bitch flying on a dragon up there. By the way, that dragon looks fucked up. Green snuff up look up snuff up up, I guess. That's what it looked like. That bitch just silenced my bitches, didn't it? No wonder you want a ribbon on everyone. Well, not everyone. I only have one ribbon. And I put it on Shadow just to be safe so I didn't get fucked up by himself. Now that I have the whole party back together, it's not such a big deal. But at any rate, let's go in this door, I believe. Okay, yeah, this leads us back to the beginning. And you might be wondering, why the fuck would you want to go back to the beginning? Well, 
I actually just want to save it real quick because you never know when you could lose. You never know. So let's head back over here. Now you might be questioning questioning my decision to go around and to back to the save point. And it's actually really easy to get back to the end. All you gotta do is hit the middle door. And then from here we're back in the same spot we were before. And then we just gotta go to the left and hit this middle door. Oh nice, I think we got another new enemy here. The Pandora's Box. Or just Pandora. Kind of a weird naming convention there. This game's got tons of weird typo naming conventions. Who knows what the, the freaking Japanese guys actually meant these things to be named. I mean, I'm sure it's it's that information is available somewhere, but I'm not going to bother looking that up. Why do I care what this critic is supposed to be called? Why is that thing called a critic? Is she sitting upon her dragon just criticizing everything in the world while she just sits on her little dragon? Who knows? Let's just follow ourselves to the next door. This should lead us the way out the fuck out of here. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on here? Oh, God. It's Larry, Curly, and Moe. We're the Dream Stooges. Good. Everyone's here. Let's, Let's rumble, rumble in the jungle. All right. Curly, Larry, and Moe, the Dream Stooges. Now, they each have their own weaknesses and strengths and all that good stuff. But your best bet is to kill them one at a time. Um, the one you want to kill first is actually Curly, because he's the one that can revive. Oh, what am I using here? Where the hell did I pass it? Yeah, Ninja Star. Now, which one's which? Ah, oh, crap. I don't know. Let's just, just throw it at the first one. I don't know. I don't even know which one's Curly, and which one's Larry, and which one's Mo. I really have no friggin' idea. I'm gonna assume the front one is Curly. Anyways, what the, what the front one can do, Mr. Curly, can actually hit you with some, uh... I'm going to go ahead and use Flare, and I'm going to go ahead and use Big Guard to be safe, too. But you want to kill Curly because he can heal the other two if they die. Basically, he can revive them from death. I'm just not sure which one's which, so I'm going to kill one and see if that's him. Because if it's not, oh well. I assume because it says Curly, Larry, Moe, it's going to go from front to back, but I could be wrong. Yeah, go Interceptor, you're awesome. By the way, I have Flare, and Flare's awesome. I think I said that already, but Flare is friggin' awesome. Just kill one of them so I know which one's which. That was Mo. Okay, so we definitely killed the wrong one first. Curly's the floating one. Now I know. That's all I really wanted to know. That was all I was doing any of that for. Just so I know which one is which one is Curly. Now that I know it's the top one, we can go a little apeshit on these bitches. Let's go ahead and throw some arrow at him. Um, like I said, they all have their own weaknesses. Uh, it's, so it's hard to really do a target all spell to really kick some ass. Otherwise, this battle is just really easy. What they kind of do is they try to emulate the the Mage's Sisters battle from Final Fantasy IV with this battle. I mean, it's not identical, but they do things like Delta Attack, which you just saw, which is a straight up, straight from Final Fantasy IV Mage's Sisters move. And I do not like that that Terra is petrified. I would like to rectify that right now. Poor favor. With the use of Soft to soften that bitch up. And we're going to throw some more ninja stars at that bitch. we got to kill the healer first. To be honest, I really didn't know how you, How can you tell which one's which? Is there a way to know? They don't actually resemble the three stooges, so how would you know? I don't even know. I don't even know. It's too bad you can't cast flare on all. That'd be awesome. Trust me, I tried. So, there's that. Let's go ahead and use some pearl wind just to heal up just a little bit. Just a little bit. As for once Curly is dead, it doesn't really matter which one of them you kill after that, as long as you kill them. God damn it. Ugh, keep passing. Aw, oh, damn it. I threw the ninja star at the wrong guy. So I'm probably going to kill Mo again, and then he's going to get revived again. Stupid. 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 Yep, killed him again. And bitch casted. Aw, oh, he casted Reflect right when I casted Flare. You son of a bitch. How dare you. He knew it. He saw Flare coming. No, he just knew because I flared him three times already. Oh, man, and I almost killed him. I'm sorry, Shadow. Oh, well, that worked out nicely. He didn't get a chance to, to heal up. That was actually real nice. That worked. He didn't get to wake up Douchebag McGee over there. Instead, he died in the process. Works for me. Now, Larry, you're all alone, Larry. What are you going to do? 
Larry's probably the most useless out of all of them, if you wanted to know. Actually, Mo kind of is, but Mo was in the way, so sucks to be Larry in the back row there, because now he going to die. I wish I could remember which one of these guys was weak to what. That's why I keep using non-elemental stuff, because I'm not sure. Probably could have ended this battle already if I would have known if I knew which one was weak to what. Would have been nice to look that up beforehand. I'm almost trying to glance over at my notes, because I'm pretty sure it's on there somewhere. Let's see, Larry is dead, so it doesn't matter. He was weak to fire. Whatever. It doesn't matter. He did. That wasn't too bad. So let's head in the door. Game! How dare you give me a battle right when I was about to go in the door. And, you think the dream sequence is over? You're dead wrong. We're not even close to done. Well, we're sort of close to done, but we're not done yet. We got through the most confusing part, at least. But now we're on the Phantom Train, which is confusing enough as it is. Let's heal up right quick, shall we? It'll help us through the trials and tribulations we're about to go through here on the Phantom Train. And in fact, I'm going to save it too, just in case. I don't think I'm going to die, but there's always that chance. There's always that chance. So let's head on true to the other side. Head on true to the other side. And yes, there's finally some treasures here in Cyan's dreams. Just not in that room in particular. Whoa, 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 whoa! Cyan! What are you doing here? Oh, I see. It looks like this is the same kind of sequence we saw before where Shadow escaped. Interesting, right? Interesting indeed. So let's hit the switch. And then we hit the switch again. And grab the chest. Tricky dicky. It's just a Genji glove. Nothing special. But, hey, some people love Genji gloves, right? I know I do. Kinda. Hey, get out of my way, chest. I want that other chest. How do you get that chest, you might be asking? Well, there's another chest over here, which has a lump of metal. And finally, we run into a battle. And our battle actually has new enemy, or at least one. I say new enemy, because there is only one new enemy. Actually, wait, no, two, huh? Never mind, that big fat parasite, we haven't fought him before either. But I was looking more... Actually, we fought all these except for the parasite. What am I saying? Or not... Per the parasite are those little freaking floating things. What am I saying? The fat thing is called Suriander, which looks like a freaking giant nasty pimple. It's pretty disgusting looking, actually. Oh, he cast Sneeze? That's not cool. Not cool, man. I honestly did not know he did Sneeze. That was uncool. Uncool, bro. Uncool. Just kill him with that flare attack, and we'll be I'll be a happy camper if that happens. Thank you very much. Suriander, thought you was cool. So, what are we gonna do with this this lump of metal? Well, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go up to this chest. We're gonna put it inside, and that's gonna weigh the box down so it can't chase us and get in our way anymore. And we get ourselves another flame shield, which is nice. Okay, keep an eye on these six chests. I'm gonna press this switch. Note which ones are open and which ones are closed. Quick, write it down. Quick, write it down. Quick, write it down. Okay, they don't change. You could just stare at it all day, actually. And I actually have it in my notes, so who cares? So anyway, the top two left are open. Right one's closed. Top, bottom two are, you know, it's pretty easy. Anywho, that wraps up the business in this car. So let's head on to the next car, shall we? Which requires us to go in this door. Oh, God, it looks like a maze. It's because it is. All right, fine. We'll go through your stinking maze. Fine. Now, do we have to... Oh, there's a chest right here. Duh. Oh, there's a new enemy here. I was like, wait a second. Samurai. Okay, so we got a samurai in this one. Oh, man. Stupid ass. You know, let's kill everything except for the fat blob before... So he doesn't freaking sneeze us away again. That sneeze move is really an irritate. Really an irritant. Let's ninja star this bitch over here real quick. And we'll attack her. And we'll go ahead and flare... You know, let's just flare him. That flare should kill him, to be quite honest. Because it does like 5,000 plus damage to the fat-ass Suriander, so it should kill him. Anyway, Samurai and Suriander, I think, are the only two new enemies in this area of the Phantom Train or whatever, so you don't have to, like, deal with anything else after this battle. Oh, yeah, big-time damage. It's because he has the Man-Eater equipped. Any man-shaped enemies will die to the Man-Eater real quick. Got ourselves a free X potion, and if you go down and around here, you can grab this chest, which is another ice shield. Cool, so we got a couple ice shields. Alright, so, 
let's go ahead and hit this switch. That'll move some furniture. Do we hit the switch again? No. Just one time. Just one time. One time. One time. Alright, so let's hit the next switch. And that should move something out of our way, maybe? Huh. Yeah, this is kind of a weird puzzle. You have to, like, move the furniture around to make it so you can get by and shit. It's kind of weird. Strange. But it's not too complicated. Okay, that didn't do it. That didn't do it. Oh, shit. Another new enemy. Sorry. Rain Man. Uh, nothing like the movie, but definitely a guy who can prevent himself from being rained on with the umbrella. So, ironic name to be called Rain Man. And yet... You don't want to be rained on because you have an umbrella. So ironic. <laughs> Not really. Let's just cast Flare again. Flare is just... I'm just spamming the shit out of Flare right now. It's so overpowered. Uh, it's not that overpowered. It's not as bad as Ultima. Which, yes, Ultima is in this game as well. But, yeah. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Speaking of Ultima, we'll have to make a decision about Ultima later. Well, I'll get to that when I have to get to that. Um, huh. Well, if that doesn't do... Huh. Actually, that makes sense. Never mind, I got this. Wait, wait, what? I know what I did wrong now. I, f I f***ed up on the order. I should not have hit this switch yet. Let's see if we can get this shit sorted out. So we hit that switch... And then we go back over here and hit this switch again. Aha! Now we got it. We're good. Now we just go around and around the bottom and we're all good. Alright, so to proceed, we actually have to, I believe, set this up exactly as it was set up in the other car. And that is cor incorrect. Only that one was closed. And then on the bottom, these two are closed. And then I think we hit the switch. And, if you are correct, the door opens. Yay! So you do have to remember those to continue on into this train segment. Otherwise, you can't move on. What's in here? Another save point? All right. All right, so I saved up and healed, and now we're good. So let's head on to the next car, which is the locomotive. So we are done with this bitch. Um, do we actually have to do this like we did before? Isn't it the first and third switches have to be up? I don't remember. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? No, it really doesn't, because that'll teleport us to the next segment of the dream. And yes, my favorite segment, where we get to be inside of the Magitek armor. Yeah, just like the beginning of the game. Sabin, I mean, Cyan, what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? Oh, God. Apparently, he's been to, been to Narsh before. Strange. Or is this Narsh? I don't know. But just to show off, you actually get to fight in armor magic armor in this segment which is probably i think it's the only other time in the game the last time in the game you'll get to see yourself using the magic armor kind of cool right i guess the reason why i brought tara to this part like with me to this whole thing is because if you bring her she actually is the only person in your party who can use all of the different techniques that the magic armor has to offer if you remember from the very beginning of the game that was the case as well she can use all eight different moves. And trust me, she's way better at, with this shit than everyone else. So if you didn't bring her, you're a dumby. Then again, I mean, it's only this one segment where you use it. So it's not that big of a deal. You know, I'll probably cut out the rest unless there's any new enemies. But that's how all the battles are going to go in this section. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, we got another new enemy here, the Sky Cap. I think we'll use Bolt Beam. I don't know if that's going to change how much damage I'm doing, but I'll just do that. Maybe Bolt Beam will do more since they're machines. That's my only thinking here, but I don't know. Anyway, the biggest thing with this whole dream segment is it's freaking long, and I was tempted to just cut this, but I think I'll just go ahead and let this be all one big long episode regardless of how long it is. I don't think we're going up too much on time yet because we're cutting out a lot of battles. I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. This is the second to last segment, so we are almost done with this whole sequence. But there are still cutscenes and stuff to see, so we're not quite done yet. But what is the point of all this? I mean, why are there demons attacking Cyan's dreams and not everyone else in my party, huh? I mean, that's curious. It's very curious. And this is another new enemy called an Io. Um, 
I'm pretty sure there's a pretty good rage that you can get from Io. So this is a good enemy to make sure you run into while you're here. So you can have it out on the Velt. And yes, all these enemies you fight in Cyan's Dreams will appear on the Velt. Strange, right? Strange. Do something strange for a little piece of change, you know what I'm saying? Now, is Terra... It's something is bothering me. Has Terra already learned the magic? That's why. Fucking dummy. I don't even have my espers equipped this whole time. This whole time? Ugh, what a dumbass you are. Yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm dumb. Yeah, that's me. All this freaking eight magic points I missed out on. Ugh, lame. Could have been done with hella magic. Oh well. I'm especially annoyed that I'm not working on the level 3 magics, man. I was hella wondering why I wasn't learning any new freaking spells. I was like, there's so much magic points flying around, I'm not getting any new spells. And you might be wondering that... Um, looks like I'm going in circles, but I don't think that is the case. I think I'm going the right way. It's just a big spirally area. Alright, so let's try going back the other way, because seriously, this is not making any sense. Maybe I just... I'm really... I really do need to go back the other way. Maybe I'm tripping. So let's hope this is the right thing to do, because right now I'm just like so frustrated with the fact that I went around like that thing like 10 times. Oh look! <sighs> we figured it out. God damn, I'm a dumbass. Let's just follow Cyan. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. Magitek armor is just too heavy to cross bridges. Duh. Oh look! We're back in Doma Castle, but we're still in a dream. Can we rest in the bed? Because I could use some healing. Now what the hell are they doing here? Please save my husband. Save Cyan. Where are we? We're inside Cyan's soul. Uh huh. That's not scary at all. My husband, Cyan, continues to torture himself. He failed to defend Doma. The world's slowly dying. And then there's his family. A beast known as Rexel is taking advantage of him. Oh god, Rexel, huh? Rexel is a composite monster made up of the wretched spirits who inspect the meaningless war. That doesn't sound scary at all. They're making havoc on Papa! Please help him! Will do. Rexel, huh? I'm gonna wreck the shit out of Rexel. Please help Sire! He definitely doesn't. He's such a good man. He's just a good, a good freaking flower man maker. If only he knew what his father had become. The flower, florist, floral designer, or whatever. So let's save it one last time. Because we're about to take on the final battle here in Doma Castle. Now I think there's still random battles while we're here, right? Eh, it doesn't matter. If there is or there isn't, is of little consequence because we'll fight him. Basically the same set of enemies in this area as there has been this whole time, so there's not going to be anything new in that case. Anyway, our goal here is to head to the throne room, because that is where Rexol is. You must be Rexol. We want Cyan back, and we're going to get him. You're too late. His plane has reached critical mass. Nothing can stop his feelings of rage and despair. I grow strong now with his anger, hatred, and guilt, and I hunger for you. Alright, so here we go. Rexol and Soul Saver, which is just his little friends. I'm gonna possess your body! Okay. I'll only appear in this form again when you're about to expire. Alright, so the key to this battle, which is very irritating, you have to wait for Rexol to basically make himself appear, and it's very fucking irritating. Now, what you can do in the meantime is kill his little friends. Yeah, say hello to my little friend, little friends. One downside to this battle is I should have made sure that Terra had Ice 3 before I got to this battle point. But it's not going to matter too much. Still going to kick some ass. If you kill both of his Soul Sabers, they just respawn right away, I guess? Huh. I didn't know they respawned right away. Oh well. What you want to do is you want to wait for Rex Soul to pop up again. Or I should say pop up. As soon as he pop up, pops up. Get ready to do a lot of good ice damage. All the ice damage you could possibly do to him, prepare for it. Because that's what you're going to want to do. Or you can use Flare, which I might be doing with Terra. But with everyone else, ice damage for sure. So with Shadow, what I'm going to do is probably throw 
a blizzard sword at him? Wait, do I have any? I know I have some, but do I have a lot of them? I have two. Well, I could throw one at him at least. I mean, he doesn't have that much HP, and a throwing a blizzard at him will do good time damage. When, how, when does he pop up? Do you have to kill off his soul sabers? Or soul s s whatever? I'm afraid to kill them because I'm not sure. Oh, well, let's kill them and find out. Maybe they do. Maybe he does appear after you kill off of his little friends. I'm not even sure. <sighs> I, I hate to keep killing them over and over again. Because I honestly don't know what that's going to accomplish. I guess to be safe, I could cast Big Guard. Nope, there he goes. Get ready. Nope. 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 That's not him. I was getting ready for him to show up, but that wasn't him. Damn it. Show up! This is why this battle just sucks. Otherwise, this battle would be over already, because he's not even that difficult. It's just annoying that you have to wait till he shows up. Now, maybe I have to kill both of them at the same time. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. I'm just not recalling the little trick to this battle, because there is a trick to it. Like, to get him to show his ass up so you can kill him. I just don't know what that is. I honestly don't know. Now, if it's killing them both at the same time... Then there's the key to the battle, which it might be, and I just might have been dumby and not, not done the correct way to start this battle. If that's how you do it, we're about to find out. I'm just gonna go with the attack all magic, and that'll be the way to go. This should probably kill them, right here. So prepare to throw a blizzard if you have it, because that killed them both. Oh, what? It only killed one of them? No, I killed them both. How do you make him appear, then? Jeez, this is irritating. Alright, so I figured out the key to this battle, finally. You have to actually kill your characters on purpose. And you just have to let them die. And each time they die, uh, he's either inside of them or he's not. I didn't realize you had to kill your own characters. Now, that's just irritating. Because these soul savers were not about to make me lose. So I'm sorry it took me so long to figure that shit out, but that was retarded. Anyways, so now I'm just going to cast Doom on everyone. Oh, but I can't even kill Shadow because he has a stupid... Can you unequip relics? Crap. Because I'm not going to be able to kill Shadow except for killing all his HP. Can you unequip relics? Please tell me you can unequip relics. Nope. Okay, well, that's great. It's just fucking great. Can't even unequip relics. Or can you and I just fucked something up? I don't know. I only say that because I have I have the memento ring on Shadow. Anyway, let's just have him hit himself. What I'll probably do is just hit Shadow with some with some strong ass magic that'll hurt him. So that way he can die faster. Cause I can't hit him with the auto kill at all. At all. Um yeah, let's go ahead and just hit him with some poison. I did not come into this battle well prepared because I forgot how to fight this guy. You know what? Let's throw some shurikens at yourself. That's actually a fantastic idea. Shurikens are like a key to kick your own ass. They really are. Anyway, once we get Rexol to come out, this battle should be a breeze. It really should. Hopefully he's inside Strago. Because I'm ready to hit, hit with Shadow. Come on, Shadow. And... He's not. Okay, well that's just booty as hell. That's fine, at least Shadow's about on the brink of death. So let's get ready to hit this fool with some big time damage. Like, serious. Seriously big fucking time damage. I'm just gonna stay in the the red zone for, for how much damage I have right now, because I'm not worried about dying at all. Just kill yourself, Shadow. Well, only person who's gonna die is Strago. Oh, no, that, that healed him. He's good. So let's go ahead and throw a Shuriken at yourself. Come on. Let's stop making this take longer than it needs to. Alright. Prepare for big time damage. Here he is. He was inside. Now, if you want to kick his ass, break an ice rod on his face. And if you can, bust it out twice. I don't know how many times he lets you hit him before he runs away again, like a little bitch. But a good way to do it is bust it out while he's out. Now, I'm going to leave everybody kind of in critical, because it's going to be way easier to do this with everybody in critical. I didn't realize that this was going to be such a bitch, to be quite honest. Let's wake Shadow up and hopefully we can get some good damage in on him. Anyways, I broke two ice rods on his face. That was good stuff. 
Now I want to throw a blizzard at him if I can get Shadow to wake up. Does Strago have stop? Crap, Strago has stop, huh? Well, he has dead now, so it doesn't even matter. Anyway, let's make sure we don't lose this. We don't need to be losing this easy-ass battle now that I know what the hell I'm doing. I'm pretty much immune to all his moves right now, so it doesn't even matter that much. Let's try and throw a blizzard at him now. Now that he's, uh, can't run away. And they cast it to reflect on themselves, the, the smaller ones, which is fine. I'm not tripping off that shit. Um, all that means is he starts casting Bolt 3 off of me to make sure it hits me. So if I had reflect, it would still hit me. And you know what? I'm going to throw the last blizzard I have because I'm probably never going to use it for anything else useful, ever. So if we can kill him right here with this, I'll be happy. Yep, dead. I know we did it without Strago, but I don't give a shit. That was very irritating that it took me that long to figure that out. And I am not happy with myself at all. Fuck my life. Ugh, okay. So for victory, we got a pod bracelet and the end of this bullshit. Thanks be to you. Thanks be to me indeed. I heard from my wife and children calling out to me. Their voices finally gave me the strength and courage to come to grips with my own suffering. That's good. That's good. Can we just get the hell out of your mind now? Because your mind's fucked up, bro. Looks like that is true. Well, wait. Not yet. yet. Elaine! Oh, Wayne! Thank you, my love. No, I didn't do anything then, and I can't now. I'm a man with no honor. No, you haven't done too much. God, this stuff is so sad, though, for real. Too bad they didn't play a sadder song for this moment. It would have been way more touching. My beloved, we'll always be together. Forever! Papa, we love you! Forever! Please wait! Come back! And they're dead forever. So sad. So sad. But the memory of them lives... Through this sword. Yes. We'll always be at your side. The silence. I love the silence. And yes, there's a magicite right there. I do see. And it will still be there. In not the dream. At least I think it will be. Well. Anyways. Elaine and Owain live on in my heart. I must leave the past behind. I have much to live for. Because if you die... Who's going to be my samurai? Cyan's soul cleared itself of all doubt and confusion. Yay! How come every other character doesn't have that? Cyan's swordmanship attained its peak level of skill. That just means we learned all of his sword texts, including all the ones we had not learned yet. Pretty sweet, eh? By the way, we've got free healing. How nice was that? It's like we actually did take a nap and woke up from it and got healed from it, too. Awesome. So we're in here. We can pick up our... Magicite. Alexander, a very useless... Nah, it's not that useless. It has some magic. In fact, actually, I take that back. It's not useless because it actually has a spell that only it has. It has the Pearl spell. Yep, pretty good spell. Still working on Tritok, though, so we won't work on it quite yet. And we're done here in Doma Castle. God, that took me long enough. I don't even know how long this episode is now, but god damn, I'm stupid for taking forever. Ugh, I feel stupid. Really do. I really do. But at any rate, that's going to conclude our business here in Doma Castle. We'll never be coming back here again. Fuck this place. There's not really any point to come here again now that we don't have any more uh, dream stuff to do. How come I can't figure out how the f*** to get out of here? It shouldn't be this complicated. Ugh, I went up the wrong stairs, didn't I? Ugh. Whatever. Fuck this place. I'll meet you. Oh, no, I won't. Wait, is this not the way out? Oh, it is. It is the way out. I'm stupid. God, I'm stupid. 
I'm just brain farting everywhere right now. That dream sequence just got to me. I was just fucking my life over. Anyways, we're done here. I've had enough. See you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI where maybe we'll do something else. Psh, maybe. Peace. Did I take long enough to do this dream sequence or what? By the way, this is not the only kind of dream sequence there is in video games. Name some of the other ones that you can think of. I'd like to hear about them.